Okay, the first bit here is simplifying expressions. Oh, and obviously I should have probably had a little thing. Um, I need to take the negative 3 times the C and negative 3 times the 2. That's why it says what? Negative 3C minus 6. Everybody see that? I did that first. And if it's negative, it affects both those. It has to go to both of them. And now all we're going to do is just what? Um, combine the terms that are like. Notice I colored them up there. The 2B and the minus 5B are Bs. It's kind of like adding apples and oranges. You can only add apples to get apples, more apples. So 2B minus 5B will be negative 3B. And then I got the C minus 3C, which is a negative 2C. And then 10 minus 6 is 4. Now, y'all, you could have gone, in a sense, uh, you know, right, you could have gone from right here to right there. But I'm in teacher mode, so I put all that step down. Okay? So there's that one there. I'm going to work the other one real quick. I can come back to it if you need to copy it down. So here, same thing right here. I'm going to take that negative 2 times both those, which makes negative 2x minus 4. And then here, y'all see that minus there? It's got to go to both those. And I think it helps to draw those little arrows like that. That way you don't forget about it. That makes them both what? Negative. Now I can combine like terms. So the 3x squared minus the x squared becomes what? It's like a it's 2x squared. And negative 2x minus 6x becomes minus 8x. And the 4 is already there by, its, by itself. Okay, Those are simplifying expressions. Okay, notice there were no equals on those, right? Those were just simplifying.